Hello! I am Dartho. Welcome back to Dead Rising 4. We're on case 3 now. Uh, they captured Calder, but it sounds like that didn't go too well. Let's move on, shall we? Is that an eyeball on my windshield? Do 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 do. Ugh. And we can't go any farther with that. All right, what do we got in collectibles on this side of town? We gotta go investigate here. Hunting the monster. While Obscurus flees with its captive, Frank takes off in hot pursuit, desperate to learn more about the mysterious cauldron. There's actually stuff in here too. All right, help us on roof. Auto targeting, please. What the hell is going on here? Coming through. Excuse me. I'm gonna do some investigating. I hate the fast zombies. Boosh. Nice. Did I get anything out of that? Hold on. Really not. Ooh, a survivor. Something happened in here. It looked like someone blew their brains out, but there's no body. Okay, so there's supposedly something here, but I can't tell what that symbol is. Dual swords? Nice. Oh, a katana! So where's this item I'm looking for? Oh, get out of here. The katana is a classic. Might be on the roof, actually. So let's check the roof. If I can get up there from here. Nope. Gotta be entrance around here somewhere. Calder has clearly been here because of the destroyed cars. Aha. I saw a path up there. Damn it, Frank! It's hard not to get infected by them when you get their blood all over you. The zombies in the wall. See, there's a fucking path, but the hell? God, there are so many goddamn zombies. Ooh. There's stuff up there too. Hmm. 
I don't think I can enter this building now. Wait, here we go. We're on to something here. Nothing. Wow, what a rip. How are you supposed to get over there? Man? Like, he can't make this jump, can he? No way in hell can he make this jump. Zombie in the wall again. But... Ah! Damn it, Frank. Maybe I should, you know, do it on the side that doesn't have a pole, huh? But that's the only, like, straight runway. There we go, I did it. A cultist sword. We got a newspaper. From the ashes. From the ashes. Let's see. The story of Williman is the story of the human spirit determined indomitable and really stupid. That's all right. Let's read through these, shall we? Freebird's gun shack and shooting range is the first business to reopen after the catastrophic, catastrophic firebombing. And I'm pretty sure I'm fucking up with that word. The shack now sports a fresh coat of paint, a new sign, and according to proprietor Fast Jack Rodney, an expanded selection of stock. Given everything that's happened, people are understandably concerned about their personal safety. Rodney said there in a phone interview, I promise to stock a gun for every man, woman, and child of our great city. A shooting range and speed re reloading classes will be offered in the back room to anyone with pulse. Moe's Imaginations, a popular children's store formerly located in Westridge, will not be reopening. According to city planners, the damage to the building and management during the firebombing was too excessive. John Filbert, chief council member in charge of restoration, issued a statement during a recent press conference. Moe's Imaginations, a well-meant heritage site, will be missed, as will Moe and Maud Magnuson, beloved citizens and cribbage champions. Surviving family have reportedly sold the franchise rights to the Fortune City development firm. With the city well under reconstruction, officials have noted the influx of Willamette survivors who are returning to their former home. I was away when the outbreak hit and I'll never forgive myself. No more vacations. It's bad luck, said Abigail Harris, a hairstylist who had a, has already broke ground on her new saloon. Tom Picton, longtime resident and former proprietor of Hudson's Dairy Farm, has revived operation thanks to city support. I lost more than a home, Picton said. My family's blood is in this land. The restoration and rejuvenation of the Willamette Army Base, now the Willamette Reservist Training Center, is complete. Originally built in 1956 as a missile silo, much of the original subterranean structure remains intact. While city officials have eagerly promised a museum and tours of the heritage sites, the military is unsupportive of this development. A terrorist attack could, could be just around the corner. Do you want field strips in the way of your first line of defense, said overseeing General Arnold? The city officials have yet to comment. Franklin Kipax, owner and proprietor of Kipax Cement, was bestowed a Leadership in Business Award by the Willamette Chamber of Commerce for his company's role in the building in the building the Willamette Memorial Mega Complex. Kipax poured a total of 4,210,000 cubic yards of concrete for the mall. That is nearly equal to the amount of concrete in the Hoover Dam and a regional record. When I pour concrete, I'm also pouring out my heart, Kipax made during his second speech. Interesting. Important stereo. The rocket launcher up here for some reason. Okay, next. We gotta go check out this place. So once again, have to be on the lookout for something like that. 
Oh wait, there's one back here. Is that the way point let's go? Let's delay this let's play. Whoa. Excuse me, pardon me, can I hear you? Yep. Up and moon, baby. Up. Let's see what's inside. No survivors. Or just no one inside. They didn't make it to the safe house in the first place. I didn't mean to pick that out, but doing it for that is fine. Ah, I hate you guys so much. Suck it! Actually, no, I want to hold down. There we go. Zombies are the worst kind of zombie. Yes, I am looking for something over here. Unless it can be another one of those on the roof. Kind of thing. Oh, wait, there it is. Deserters. The email competition is here from William Goddard to Maria Lopez. Just got back from a briefing. They want us to capture that thing and ship it back to the Pentagon. Fuck that. It's killed more men than I even knew we had. I can only see one way out of my contract and I don't like it. Relieving after the roll call. Fletcher got, a, got us an exosuit. Seriously? Where will you go? North Peak. Fletcher says he knows a way out of town. You're nuts. Fontana will find you. Let her try. You deserve his last words. Flinch, it's Goddard. Commander found us. I hope that's what's the blabbed. That we will shit sack. We're not gonna make the rendezvous. Carlson got popped. I don't know. Go! Ah! Ah, shit! Deserters do not make it. Oh. Next is... There we go. It wouldn't let me zoom. I actually want to check out this location. Because it's not marked. And that might be my last one for the achievement. If I can enter this place, that is. Climb the fence instead of walk around. Okie dokie. This is not the path I would like to go. Fuck off! Annoying piece of shit. Ooh, my car. Excellent. Sure do love the smell of burning corpses. Not 
Oh, wait. Yeah, this is part of the story, isn't it? I don't think I can enter this one. Yeah, it's a story mission. Well then. Let's head up to here. Oops, I took away my marker and didn't mark a new one down. That's cool. Either obscure drivers suck or some bad shit's going down. Glitter dolls next man. Oh, it's the twin music. Right, let me turn it up. Yeah, that is indeed the twins music. Check out stairs first. Died when they were infected, they died. I didn't exactly want that, but I'll take it. Um, sound wave trap. It's upstairs. Fuck this table, god damn. Oh. Man, these things would be really easy to miss. Arcane writings. What are these about? It doesn't really say. A photo! On the first night, the Lords of Lies emerged from within, their nail beds crusted with yeast. On the second night, the All Maul greets the cosmos. Firstborn throw themselves upon the pyre. On the fifth night, our trials are complete. We await the new breed. Okay. Clear Dolls Nightclub. New and improved Thursday night with DJ Carlos. Thursday, ten dollar cover drink special. Next location. Can't go there yet, because that's part of the main story. Guess we'll follow the main objective. This vehicle kind of sucks.
Fuck it, let's go in. Get ourselves a zero suit. This area has a wireless recharge station that allows the exosuit to stay powered longer. Interesting. Fight me now, fast zombie. Get that fire off? Okay. Capturing Calder, huh? Oh no! Brad, I found the container truck. There's something not right, though. I'm gonna investigate. Good advice. Thank you for that. Hey, you. Lend a hand, will you? Just a second. There's something I need to find here. Uh. Uh. Well, the final part of the series. Bitch is crazy. So let's talk, survivor. Oh god. You're Frank West. Look at uh, I'm in bad shape here. I need more food. There's some at the North Peak safe house. If you grab me a few hits, I'll tell you what we were hauling. Deal? Deal? Alright, alright, I'll think about it. Fine, just Hurry. You go to the emergency shelter. Frank <clears throat> is Paula. I got some more interesting leads for you. I'm sending you the details now. New maniac. Ooh, two of them. Shit.
Alright, let me look at the map. So we got some over here and one inside the mall. Oh, it's the pirates. We're gonna have to make a trip to the mall. Luckily, all the safe houses are connected to each other. That's convenient. Oh, there it is. Just very casually sitting here. We're around time. Yeah, let's get to the mall. And then I'll end the part. Take the shortcut? Yes. We're actually near one of the, an item. Sweet. Oh god. Nope, we're gonna stand down here. I don't remember where I'm at in the map. Alright, sweet. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check back later for the next video. Bye.